Hi, Rob McIsaac here. I'm here with... Miranda, and I am a nurse in the NICU, and I'm going to show Rob what I do during the day. So this is Aaron. He was born at 32 weeks, so pretty premature. He was just born a couple of days ago. Babies about this size generally do okay with regulating their temperature, but we do put them in the isolate to um, create a warm environment. So it heats to whatever his body tells it it needs. So we put a temperature probe on him that feeds into the isolate and then tells the isolate to get warmer or cooler based wow. on him. Nice technology. Our, our very tiny ones, um, we can't even lift the lid up. And the whole goal really with the isolate is to kind of recreate what they should be in. So their environment should be dark right. and quiet and warm and wet. Erin, are you talking to me? Yeah. And they are super vocal about what they want. They're just different than adults, right? So he can't necessarily tell me what he wants, but they have no problem getting it across. <laughs> <laughs> We're always assessing them. So things like their breathing, especially for him today, that's really important, given that he came off the respiratory support yesterday. So we'll just kind of assess that all of their um, their vitals, their heart rate, all of that is as it should be. And because they're so fragile, that can change really in an instant. So we always have someone at the bedside in here for every single baby, 24 hours a day. There's a nurse there. So now he's not opening his eyes. He will. It's just bright for him. Yeah. Our little, little ones don't for probably three or four weeks sometimes, but this age they definitely can. The really important about thing about being in the NICU, a nurse in the NICU, is that you have to recognize the smallest of changes. Right. Because these babies generally will tell us they're sick just by changing their heart rate, changing their temperature. One little sign can mean a lot more. All right, mom. Everything sounds good? Everything sounds great. So mom is Excellent. Being that Angelina is two months old, she's had lots of teaching on how to change her bum and do things like that. Most parents are pretty nervous in the beginning. It's nerve-wracking even when the baby goes to full term. Yeah, for a new parent, exactly. Right? So. so a big part of our job is to teach them, you know, you can change a diaper, you can take a temperature, talk to them, love them. And I think it's really empowering for them to see that they can do that. For sure. And it just sets mom up for, eventually she's gonna bring Angelina home. Yeah. And if she's never changed a diaper up till then, that would be really nerve wracking. So yeah. um, it's really setting them up for success at home yeah. and really giving them that normal baby experience. A big part for us, it's so hard for parents to be here, to be away from their babies and to have something that was supposed to be such a positive experience. To have that taken away from them is really being hospital. No, hard. I agree. But I always think that the children's hospital, like, is such an example for the rest of the hospital in terms of that focus family. that you're talking about. Yeah. To think about the whole family, to yeah. think about the experience. Not it's, for sure, it's about great care, yeah. but also about how people feel when you're delivering it. When I came here, everyone said, like, how are you going to go from palliative oncology? to the beginning of a life cycle, like it's so different. Yeah. But palliative care is so family focused and here is so family focused. I think it's similar to in that you're taking a negative situation and trying to bring some sort of positivity to it as much as you can yeah. and creating memories and that can last for a family and helping them cope through something difficult. Yeah. So it's a similar kind of concept. No, I agree. So thanks to Miranda for sharing her experience with us uh, working in the NICU. Uh, she's obviously such a, a passionate uh, person about her job and I know that she's uh, one of many people who are working in the NICU who feel uh, just the same way. I, I am so impressed uh, of course with the quality of the care that is going on in our NICU uh, but equally um, the attention to the patient experience that those staff uh, are obviously so sensitive to. They know that um, you know none of those uh, parents would like to have their babies there. They'd all like to have them at home 
and they're doing uh, their very, very best to include the parents uh, in the care, uh, but also trying to, as much as possible, uh, create some of those special moments that every parent wants to have uh, with their child. Uh, I think the NICU is something we can all be really proud of here at Hamilton Health Sciences. Uh, thanks to them for hosting me today, and I'll see you next time.